Welcome to Whiteboard Marketing, where we simplify marketing with easy to understand whiteboard videos and today I'll be sharing with you what is keyword density, the importance of keyword density, a few tips to improve keyword density of your content, SEO tools to use while optimizing keyword density and everything else you need to know. So let's get started. If you feel a little Joomla, let me clear something first. Keyword density is also known as key phrase density and mostly they are the same thing. And if you are someone who is working in the industry, both the terms are used interchangeably. And by definition, it means the number of times your focus key phrase or keyword occurs in your copy compared to the total text of that page. So let's say if you have a text that is 100 words and 5 of those are your focus key phrase. Then your keyword or key phrase density is 5%. Next, let's answer why is key phrase density important for SEO. Well, many digital marketers think that keyword density or key phrase density is not an important metric. But let me tell you that our key phrase density is important for SEO because Google tries to match a user's search query to the best fitting web pages available on the internet. And to effectively do this, Google first need to understand what is your web page about. And that's why you should use your key phrase that is the phrase you'd like to rank for in your copy. Even though this comes naturally, many copywriters try to force it on readers. For instance, if you'd like to rank for puppy adoption, you'd probably use this phrase regularly throughout your content without stuffing it or spamming it. You must be thinking, is that all you need to rank? No, no and definitely not. Here's the thing, if you repeat your key phrase very often in your copy, it becomes unpleasant to read for your visitors. That's something you should avoid at all times. After all, you want your users to enjoy and understand your content copy well. A high key phrase density is also a signal to Google that you might be stuffing keywords in your text, also known as over-optimizing. As Google likes to show the best result to users both in relevancy and readability, this can negatively affect your rankings. So where can you check your keyword density? Well, there are plenty of free tools online like Yoast SEO which checks keyword density for your text in almost real time. But if you are looking for something good which is paid as well, try using SEMrush, their SEO suit is tailored to support all your business requirements and offers a lot more features to help your business grow. There's a link in the description below so be sure to check it out if you want to learn more about it. Okay, now you understand what it is and how to check it, but hey, what's the right keyword density for SEO? Well, marketers generally recommend that one should have a keyword density between 0.5 to 3% and should note that for a match to be counted, all the words should occur in one sentence. But the order of the words may differ. For example, keyword best co-working spaces is different from best co-working places. Though they are LSI keywords, which adds a ranking factor and boosts the visibility of the content for a variety of search terms, I'd recommend you to watch my video for LSI keywords to get a better understanding on the subject. Link is given in the description below. Next comes the question of how many keywords should I use in my content? While there are no hard and fast rules to answer many matters of SEO, based on my experience, I'll recommend including one keyword per roughly 200 words of your copy. In other words, if a web page consists of a single 200 word paragraph, it should contain no more than one keyword. You may be able to safely include more keywords than this that is without being penalized by Google, but roughly one keyword per 200 words of copy is considered a good benchmark by SEO community across the globe. Next, let's learn how to improve your keyword density. So, if your key phrase density score is too low, you should use key phrase more often in your text copy. You can use various tools to check your copy and make sure that you make clear of what you are writing about in it. Stay on your topic, never stick away from your niche. But if the key phrase density is too high, which means it's higher than 3%, you are using your key phrase too often. Try repeating your keyword less often as your content can possibly be marked as spam by search engines. For example, here the ones I have marked as red are over-optimized as they have keyword density of more than 3%.
and the ones having keyword density of less than 1% are considered as under optimized and are marked as yellow. But the ones which are marked as green are decently optimized and our content should rank well on these. A small pro tip here, try to use synonyms as they are a great way to avoid repetitiveness. You need to know that synonyms do not count towards your key phrase density score as keyword density exclusively looks at the use of actual focus key phrase in your content. Lastly, make sure that you use your focus keyword enough throughout the whole text but at the same time, don't overdo it as you don't want Google to think that you are stuffing your text with keywords as it might get you into sandbox or even worse, get banned by Google. With that, I hope this video was helpful to you and served value. If you love my content, be sure to smash that like button and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do as it keeps me motivated and helps me create more content like this for you.